Today, we're here to talk about impression management, a term coined by Irvin Goffman. And depending on the textbook you use, it might also be called dramaturgy. But first, a quote by William Shakespeare. Shakespeare once wrote, All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. But of course, we're not here to talk about William Shakespeare. We're here to talk about Irwin Goffman. Which begs the question, what do Irwin Goffman and William Shakespeare have in common? To answer that, we have to go back to that quote. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. What did Shakespeare mean by this? Shakespeare meant something very specific. He meant, we put on many shows, many performances throughout our lives. He meant that we play many roles throughout our lives. Seven, to be exact. The first performance we put on is that of an infant, and then that of a child, a lover, somebody that is arrogant, wise, old, and very old. Irving Goffman also believed that we played many roles, but Goffman took the saying a step further. Goffman didn't just believe we played many roles throughout our lives, he believed that we play many roles at any given moment. At any given moment, we aren't just a father. At the same time, we might be a husband, an employee, a friend, a partier, and a churchgoer. Consider for a moment. How many roles do you have? Are you only a person that watches sociology videos online? Or are you also a student, a worker, a son, a father, a lover, a friend? Not only do we all have many roles at any given moment, we have dozens of them. Depending on who we are around, we act differently. Depending on the stage we are on, we act differently. Depending on the role we are in, we act differently. We do so because we want to manage the impression we give to others. It's this simple notion that is at the heart of Goffman's term, impression management and dramaturgy. This simple notion that we want to manage the impression we give to others. Now consider for a moment. Do you act the same way in front of your parents as you would with your friends or at work? Goffman would say, hopefully not. In each situation, we want to give off a different impression. With our parents, we want to be seen as polite, loving, and responsible. With our friends, we want to give off a different impression. We might want to be seen as relaxed, outgoing, and fun ready to party, and carefree. But at work, you probably want to give off a different impression. At work, you want to be seen as professional, and so you dress and act professionally. You want to be seen as hardworking and a team player. We change how we behave based upon the situation we're in, in order to manage the impression we give to others. Now, you've probably heard the saying, two-faced. Not a very nice thing to call somebody. So much of an insult that there's a Batman villain named Two-Faced. Well, Goffman wouldn't say that we are two-faced. He, he might actually instead say that we are five-faced, ten-faced, twenty-faced. And it is a good thing. After all, during an interview, do you behave the same way as you would on a first date? Well, hopefully not. At least not if you want the job or want a second date. We behave differently depending on the situation. Based on what role we are fulfilling at any given moment, we change how we behave in order to give off an appropriate impression of who we are, or rather, who we want others to think we are. As it turns out, all of us really are just actors playing different roles at any given moment. At any given moment, we change who we are, how we behave, 
based on the role we're playing in order to engage in impression management.